In this video, we're going to look at the Vid Globalizer tool, and this tool is unique in the sense that it uses a strategy that I kind of spotted over on WordPress and wondered if we can make that work um, with YouTube. And the strategy in WordPress, of course, is that you can create some uh, blog posts, you can create an entire website, and then you can do a language translation of that website. And there's never any negative effect. In fact, it can bring you a whole bunch more rankings and traffic. So I figured that the same could be done in YouTube. But one of the first things I wanted to do was to go and test it, okay? So what I needed to know was, will these um, channels, if I create language channels, will they get indexed and la maybe later get de-indexed or will they stay up? Secondly, do they rank on YouTube and Google? And thirdly, do they get traffic, okay? So I'm gonna answer all of those questions in this video. Okay, so before I show you how to automate this and even to scale it with just a few clicks of the mouse using your existing content, let's go and have a look at some search results. And you can see here um, the German version of an English video that I had up, English language video that I had up. You can see that it's ranking and it's even got some views in here. Okay, it's not a huge amount of views, but you've got to take into um, consideration the context of this video. It's actually about launch jacking. I don't know how many people in Germany use that kind of term, but it's got 17 views, okay? Um, and here you can see what's interesting underneath is it's got pulled back a bunch of my videos as well. And um, you can see this one is mine. There's a few down below as well. Now let's go and have a look at the Google search for this as well, because we know that we can get rankings on YouTube. It's not being de-indexed. De but what about Google? Okay, over in Google search, you can see this. I put in the title for the video and you can see it's ranking in Google as well. But what's interesting here, you can see this one is Anthony Hayes German channel. I've created a whole bunch of different channels there for different languages. Um, but what's interesting here is that you will see um, a range of my channels underneath. It's not just from my main channel, but you will see a range of channels underneath. You can even see a Danish um, video down there from my Danish channel. So you can see how effective this is. And it's not being de-indexed. They do rank and they do get some traffic. Let's go and have a look at one more though. Okay, so here's the Portuguese version. You can see I've got a whole bunch of my other videos right underneath this as well, which is kind of interesting. And coming over to the video itself, you can see it's had 11 views, not a huge amount of views, but again, it's the context of the video. How many people in Portugal actually use the term launch tracking? I don't imagine it's going to be too many. So if you're doing this with a bigger niche, it's going to be um, more traffic, obviously. So um, that shows that we are getting rankings and we are keeping the content on the channels. It's not being de-indexed and plus it's getting traffic. And here you can see all of these videos this one here is the Italian version. It's got 12 views. It's not a huge amount of views, but if, if you're doing this over 20, 30 languages, you can imagine how this can build up. And every single one of these has got an internal link inside the description as well. And the internal links in YouTube are do follow, or at least they do not have a no follow tag because SEO Quick and some other um, Chrome extensions that I tested with all show them to be do follow, okay? Um, so that gives us an opportunity that we can automate this traffic and automate internal YouTube backlinks, do follow backlinks inside YouTube with just a few clicks of the mouse, which I'm going to show you in just a minute, okay? Before I do that, let's just go and finish this off. <clears throat> we got the French channel here as well, and that one's got just seven views. And you can see this is working perfectly fine. So this is looking good to me. Is it ready to scale and how do we scale? That's the other um, the questions that we need to answer. So let's go over and have a look at the software. Okay, so in the software, this is where we create the campaigns. And once we have the results, once we start to actually upload these, you will get results like this and you can see the videos have been posted successfully. And you can click on the view button, it will take you over to YouTube. And those are the videos that I just showed you were um, indexed getting rankings and getting traffic, okay? So coming back over here, what's important to note in here is that we've taken the existing content that was on my main channel, okay? I'm not creating any new content. I'm just simply repurposing the content with the metadata 
translated into multiple different languages. Now, I've only chosen four languages here, but we've got a whole bunch more. So you can imagine how much traffic you can generate, extra traffic you can generate by doing this on a sort of larger um, scale. And what we do then, First of all, is we can assign permanently a channel. You can see this one's French channel. I just need to click on set default. Then it will remember in future that anytime I choose French translation, then it's going to be assigned to this channel, okay? Now, when we come down, you can see the title's being changed into French. The description has been changed into French. Also, the tags have been changed into French. And also the thumbnail as well. If I come over here to the thumbnail, you can see this option here to create thumbnail. If I click on that, you can see I've created the thumbnail where I can choose any background color and I can choose any text color, for example. And basically I'm able to go and create these thumbnails very quickly, very easily, just by using in that specific language the title okay so it's very easy to use you can play around with this and do whatever you like different colors etc i'm just going to change that back to black and i'll save it there okay so how do we actually create these well it's very easy um, but before i go in there i almost forgot that we also do captions as well okay and these are uploaded as closed captions okay now if you add one simple tag okay it's going to make sure that the closed captions the subtitles will actually start automatically when somebody's watching one of these videos in that language so they can actually listen to the video in english for example like mine and at the same time in their language is the subtitles automatically playing okay it's a neat trick and it can get us more traffic as well or more engagement i should say as well so there's the title the keywords, the description, and the thumbnails and the captions all done at one time. So how do we do it? Well, the quick answer is we have a software to do it. Okay, this is a very good software. It's really powerful and it's really easy to use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this video here as a part one. I will put a link to part two in the description of this video if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching this on one of my websites, the blog, for, for example, you'll probably see the video underneath this one, okay? So this video is going on about seven, eight minutes. Let's go into part two and we will do a live demonstration how to set it up. It doesn't take long, just a couple of minutes, and you can have a bunch more traffic for your existing content with just a few clicks of the mouse.